This is the Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bara 23 no sneaker channel days. I bring you stop, stop, cut, stop. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm bringing you my regular content, but no. What I found out is these Tuesday top tens that I always do every single Tuesday have a massive, massive dip in viewership. And I've worked out that the reason that that is is because only subscribers watch these Tuesday top tens. And that for me is actually a great opportunity for me to speak to you, the subscribers. They're not getting views, these, these videos, they're not getting searched on Google or YouTube or any other means, Instagram, those kind of things. People aren't coming to look at these videos because they're kind of personal and they're kind of a specific thing for me. So you can't really Google the Tuesday top 10, oh, it's Teddy, because you know nobody really knows about it. And that means I don't get many views on these videos and that means it's an opportunity for me to talk to the subscribers. And if you're a subscriber to my channel, I'm gonna talk right to you right now instead of all that fluff about what we're doing tomorrow or subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Let's just leave that aside today and get into this Tuesday top 10. It's close to my heart and I've been building up towards the top three sneaker YouTubers that I go to for content on a regular basis. And at number three, it's the son of some man, one of the greatest sneaker YouTubers out there, slept on but growing all the time, and he's definitely got the channel that you need to go to for information about sneakers and for information about Jordans, because he's a Jordan head and a sneaker head, and you get tons of great content at his channel. A quick shout out to Scholar Gamer Nerd. He and I have been following each other's channels recently and hitting each other up with comments and likes and getting subscribers from each channel to go across and subscribe to the other and he's getting up there towards that 1000 mark which is an amazing achievement good on you buddy i hope you actually get there real soon and i hope people from my channel are going over and supporting yours of course link in the description down below but enough of that let's get into the son of some man i have been building towards this for seven weeks we've done seven weeks of these tuesday top tens and i've been looking forward to getting this personal connection because the other guys i don't really know them personally at all i've had a couple you know ig messages with some of them and things like that but not really personal connection but the son of some man he and i our history goes back a long way, at least in YouTube terms, uh, and, and we have a connection, a personal connection, and that's why it's a real privilege to bring anyone out there who watches this content, my interpretation and my impression of the son of some man, sneaker YouTuber from New York, US of A. Right now I've covered the screen in James Brown, and they used to call James Brown the hardest working man in show business. Let's forget about the hardest working man in show business and focus on the hardest working man in shoe business. Right here, the son of some man, this guy he works his socks off and I'm going to tell you all about that in today's video. Now there are three reasons why I love the son of some man I love his content and the first of which has been a thread that's run through every single one of my Tuesday top tens from number 10 when I did Tony D2 World right up to number three now when I'm doing the son of some man and it's all about the character of the person doing the presenting not necessarily the content and what we're talking about is loyalty what we're talking about is honesty and what we're talking about is integrity if you whoever's watching this goes out and checks out the son of some man absolutely there's no way you can watch his content and not believe in his honesty and his loyalty is 100 loyalty and honesty right there right up front and the reason i know that is because he's always hitting up my videos with a comment even though he's outrageously busy he doesn't miss a beat and he checks out my content all the time drops comments drops likes d shares my videos gets it out there speaks to his subscribers, asks them to come across to see my channel. So there's a real connection there, but it's all about loyalty and honesty and integrity. And I really appreciate that in a sneaker YouTuber. And I really appreciate that in the son of some man. And the second thing that I just love about watching the son of some man's content is that he's got a ton of sneakers behind him and he's got a ton of sneakers in hand. He's an in hand sneaker YouTuber, which I would love to be someday, but I kind of rely mostly on screenshots up here. And I don't really get the opportunity to actually have sneakers in hand and let people see them and, and actually show the sneakers off but that is what the son of some man does he's always got sneakers in hand he's always got heat behind him his own collection is absolutely enormous it's full of jordans everything from ones all the way up and there's tons of heat in there there's og heat there's recent heat there's multiple pairs of some his favorite i think if i remember rightly are air jordan 5 but i can't remember which colorway but i think that's his favorite sneaker and his entire collection is just full of heat so when you go and watch his videos and go and watch his channel you see sneakers in hand and you see his own collection right there
right there. Tons and tons of heat, supported by J&M sneakers as well. So if you want to check out a sneaker store in New York, definitely hit up J&M sneakers to see an awesome sneaker shop. I'll drop their IG down below so that you can check them out as well as the Son of Some Man. And the final reason why the Son of Some Man comes in at number three on my list of sneaker YouTubers is because of that personal collection between he and I. It started back in the butter movement days when shoe butter was stomping all over the internet, all over YouTube and all over sneaker YouTubers. And he and the Son of Some Man had a connection and they worked together to build a channel called the Butter Movement. And from that, I started contributing to the Butter Movement and I sort of made this connection with the Son of Some Man and other sneaker YouTubers out there and other sneaker heads out there. So we started this personal connection back in 2016, I think it was. And it continued after the Butter Movement sort of stopped happening. The, sh the channel got shut down and, and the Son of Some Man had to go alone and go it alone and try and make his own brand there, which he's doing brilliantly. And then a couple of years later, I thought, right, I'm going to get on that and try and have my own sneaker channel, which I do now have, even though it's only got hundreds of subscribers as opposed to the thousands that the Son of Some Man has. But then there are other connections as well. The Son of Some Man doesn't have one, doesn't have two, but has three children and two of them are young twins under one year old. And if you watch my content, you know that I have a one year old as well. So there's a parallel that we're both trying to keep our sneaker channels going while we're young dads and we've got these young families out there that we have to take care of, which is an awful lot of hard work. A second parallel is that we both work full time. So you're working full time and you've got your full time commitment to your family and you're trying to go full time with your channel as well. It's almost like having three jobs and the son of some man, the hardest working man in shoe business. I'm telling you, the son of some man is out there and he's trying to keep it all going. He's active on Instagram. He's active on YouTube and he's trying to keep it all together. He's on Twitter as well. So the son of some man, those parallels to myself, the working man, the young family, the sneaker YouTuber, the butter movement. That's the third reason why I love to check out the son of some man's content. And I think that you, if you're watching this, anyone go over there and subscribe to his channel, drop a little comment and tell him that Tokyo Butter 23 sent you because he's definitely worth checking out. He's close to 3000 subs and I think we can help him get across that milestone and get into the 3000 subscribers territory. Now to end this video, I had hoped to bring my daughter through from the front room where she is right now uh, and to, to let her meet you guys because like I said this is more for the subscribers than it is for the general viewers or people who just sort of casually come by and check out a sneaker uh, and because it's the subscribers I'm speaking straight to today and I wanted to sort of give you something special was I wanted to bring my daughter through but she's just gone and fallen asleep in her little playpen next door so I'm afraid you can't meet her today and I do apologize for that but I will I'll pop up a little shot of her here this is my daughter she's one year old she's the absolute apple of my eye. I know how much I give to her and to my work and to my channel and I know how much the son of some man gives to his twins and to his work and to his channel. It's a really really hard thing to juggle all that. The son of some man does it brilliantly and I hope that my subscribers will take Lana's advice and go and check out the son of some man's channel. This is Tokyo Barrow 23 signing off from Tokyo saying thank you for checking my content out and as you are just about only subscribers watching this and I do appreciate you very much for getting me past that 100 mark and on my way to 200 subscribers. I say thank you very much for your support and I will definitely see you tomorrow. Gordon Bennett. God, I just stabbed myself with a... This is called a skelf in Scotland. I don't know if you can see that. A chunk of wood. We're back in my chair. Not a good start to this video. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Chanero toro kuzihi onagaishimasu. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa osusumi desu. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa chanero no profil no video desu. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.